Hello, my name is Thomas. I've been working on a project called Pose. It's a um, it's a skeletal 2D animation uh, tool. So, for instance, I have already added some sprites in here. This is a spaceship that I made for a game I'm making. So, not a dude walking this time. Uh, so, it looks a bit like this in rest position. There we go. But the thrusters should be in front of the wing, so this is not the case. So we go to draw order and rearrange that. I think something like this. Yeah, so they're in front now. And then, of course, uh, to make the wings rotatable uh, from the body, uh, we need to define a hierarchy. So let's do that. We can just drag in the scene tree. So this, we were in draw order just now, and now we go to scene tree. Um, move the wing below the body, the other wing. So now they are children and they will follow the parent. And the same goes for the thrusters or the hands. Left, there we go. So now we have this hierarchy. Uh, so if I move them, the, the, the root, everything moves. If I rotate the root, everything rotates. So that's what this hierarchy is for. So let me reset that, zero, zero. Uh, as you saw, uh, I previously put them in place, but they jumped. So that's because of uh, another feature that's not implemented yet, uh, which corrects the global positioning when you change the parent of a sprite. So that's uh, not important right now. So this is what the ship is supposed to look like, more or less, in REST. And then we can animate it. Uh, this is the dope sheet. So this is timeline. When I put it on zero, uh, I can save positions at this moment in the in the timeline. So for instance, if I'm gonna rotate the wings, then I have to uh, first store the position and angle because I'm gonna change the position too. And then for instance, at 30, I'm gonna have it, I want it to be like this. Also store position and rotation. So now it does this. For the moment, it's, it's only linear, but Quadratic is uh, is planned. Quadratic uh, interpolation. So you can do this f with everything, of course, and that's when the 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 animation become interesting. So if I start out like this, key everything, and then for instance, I at this point I wanted to do something like this. It's I'm not gonna do something that really makes much sense uh, animation wise. It's just showing what the how it works and then come back straight for instance key it all uh, there's also going to be a auto key in the future that does all this for you and then you can see that it does what i asked it to so this is about it technically um so that's what i'm gonna work on uh, for the the coming month in devtober so uh, thank you for watching Bye.